Chesterton Streamline S-Series Mechanical Seals Installation Procedures. Preparation. Begin by removing the Streamline seal from the shipping box. Separate and arrange all components on a clean working surface. First, make sure all materials installed are chemically compatible with the fluid being sealed. An O-ring compatibility chart is included in the seal box. Before installation, you must assure that the equipment is in good working condition. Measure the shaft diameter to determine if the shaft is within tolerance. Check the shaft for proper radial runout with the dial indicator. Check the radial play by pushing and pulling the shaft. Then place the dial indicator on the end of the shaft to check the axial end play. Clamp a dial indicator to the shaft and check the stuffing box face surface relative to the shaft. This surface should be perpendicular to the shaft. The stuffing box bore diameter should meet the dimensional requirements as specified in the installation instructions to properly fit the mechanical seal. The stuffing box face sealing surface should meet the maximum requirements for proper gasket sealing. The inside diameter should be clean and clear along its entire length. Using your fingers, inspect the shaft for sharp edges and scoring. The shaft finish must not exceed the maximum requirements to ensure a good shaft seal and to prevent O-ring damage. If needed, cover the threads and keyway slots with thin tape to prevent cutting the O-ring. Now with the clean silicone-based lubricant supplied, lube the shaft and the shaft O-ring. Installation. Before sliding the seal onto the shaft, check the set screw protrusion. The cup point set screws go through the larger holes in the sleeve, but should not protrude into the sleeve ID when sliding the seal onto the shaft. The quarter dog point set screws engage the small holes in the sleeve and should not protrude. Make sure the four centering pads are squarely engaged in the lock ring. This is accomplished with the yellow shipping template. For best results, leave this template on the seal gland until all three quarter dogs and at least one set screw have been tightened. Slide the seal onto the shaft. Orient the gland so that any required piping connections can be made after pump assembly. It is now time to reassemble the pump and make all necessary adjustments. Pump assembly and adjustments must be complete before tightening seal set screws and gland bolts. Make required impeller adjustments. Tighten the gland bolts evenly between 20 to 30 foot-pounds. The Streamline series is equipped with a patented self-centering lock ring, also known as the Cloverleaf design, which ensures sleeve concentricity and squares the rotary face to the shaft during installation. When used in conjunction with the captive centering pads, precise seal positioning is accomplished automatically. Unlike removable centering clips that you will see on conventional cartridge seals, these captive centering pads are designed to stay attached to the gland. They will automatically move out of the way when the equipment is started. The first screws to be tightened, the quarter dog point set screws, are identified by the paint dot on the lock ring. Finger tighten by twisting the short end of the provided hex key with your fingertips. Tighten each dog point set screw evenly between 50 to 60 inch pounds. Now evenly tighten the cup point set screws in the same manner, first with fingertips and then to the full torque between 50 to 60 inch pounds. Once the cup points are tight, 
the installation template can be removed by tearing at the perforation. The centering pads are designed to disengage from the lock ring when the shaft turns. Take caution, this feature requires that you remove the installation template prior to starting the pump. On the S20 as shown, the NPT connections are for the barrier or buffer fluid in and out. The S20 pumps in the direction of shaft rotation. Determine this by viewing the seal from the lock ring end or motor end. If the shaft rotates in a clockwise rotation, orientate the barrier ports at the 3 o'clock position. Use the bottom port for the fluid in and the top port for the fluid out. If the shaft rotates in a counterclockwise rotation, orientate the barrier ports at the 9 o'clock position. Use the bottom port for the fluid in and the top port for the fluid out. When using an S10 single seal, the same port connections are shipped with stainless steel plugs. These ports are used for flush fluid in. Because it's not rotation dependent, either connection can be used for the flush. The remaining port must remain plugged. The two additional ports marked QD are specifically for the S10 single seal and provide the quench and drain connections. Take all necessary precautions and follow normal safety procedures before starting the equipment. Cassette replacement. Seal replacement is streamlined by removing the old cassette. The original gland is refitted with a new factory assembled cassette. The cassette is pushed into the gland with the pin aligned to fully engage the hole in the gland. The cassette should sit flush to the gland. To set the spring pressure and to ensure proper seal centering, compress the gland down to engage the four centering pads into the lock ring groove. With the use of the shipping template, you are now ready to install the seal. Chesterton Streamline S-Series Mechanical Seals Streamline the whole business of sealing. For more information, contact your local Chesterton representative or visit us at www.chesterton.com.